Hi, I'm Elkie Holland from Perspective Society of Recruitment and I'm here today with David Cooper, Technical Lead from Bluefinity. David, thank Hi, you for joining me. Hi Elkie, yeah, great to be here. Thank you. Today I was wondering if we could talk about Evoke and its versatility. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, to start off, I'd like to just double check. Evoke does support multi-value databases. It does indeed. It supports all of the major multi-value database flavours and pretty much all the versions of those uh, database flavours as well. Okay. Multi-value is of course Bluefinity's home market. It's where we've operated and excelled in for the past eight or nine years with our existing product portfolio. So to include the multi-value database as a, if you like, a first-class citizen uh, within Evoke was just a very natural decision for us. And the way that we've done that is to make sure that Evoke can squeeze and take advantage of the great performance that multi-value databases can provide. Having said that though, there's nothing multi-value specific per se with Evoke. And in fact, what we'll be doing towards the end of the year is adding SQL database support to the product. Okay, that makes it very versatile. What about in terms of application platforms though? How versatile is Evoke for that? Again, it's, it's very versatile in that respect as well. One of the main objectives that we had for the product was to make sure that if you do invest time and energy in developing a new software product, that you'll be able to deploy and run that application software on the, the, the large range of platforms and devices that exist out there in the market nowadays. And so as Evoke sits right now, the current version, you can create browser-based applications uh, that run inside the desktop browser and applications that run inside the browsers on mobile devices as well. That's Apple and Android phones and uh, phones and tablets either as browser applications or as hybrid applications. What we're also doing though, uh, it, we've got a very aggressive roadmap for the product and what we're adding towards the middle of the year is support for Windows WPF, which is the, uh, the rich client application technology from Microsoft. So you'll be able to create apps that uh, are quite happy deploying and running on Windows 7 in the traditional desktop environment. And we're also adding support for a very cool piece of technology called Xamarin. Now Xamarin, uh, the company is called Xamarin, they allow you to create truly native applications for Apple, Android, and in fact also Windows Phone using C Sharp. So we'll be adding the capability for our generator to create Xamarin based projects later on in the year. Also towards the end of the year we'll be turning our guns on the whole Windows infrastructure in terms of Windows 8, Metro apps, Windows Phone native apps uh, and, and that side of things as well. Very ambitious, so it's versatile already and it's uh, going to become even more versatile. Basically yes. Wonderful, thank you very much. You're welcome.